my son. I made sure he had a charter. Carrying on my back, playing horsey, riding his bicycle. You know, kissing him. And sometimes I felt like unzipping my skin and put them in and zip them up inside of me, you know. The unconditional love this father shares is because he never knew his parents. He doesn't know his name or his age. He is called Jean Robert Cadet. It's a name given to him by his owner. He was a slave. I'm talking about slavery, where the child is not a child, where the child is not a human being, where the child is like a disposable diaper. In some places, Haiti is a beautiful country, but they hide their dirtiest secret behind the faces of 300,000 children. They're called Restavex, literally to stay with, but they're slaves. They live a life of work, abuse, and often death. You look at children living on Linfield, who at Christmas time, the only toy they have is a used condom that they found on the trash, and they're blowing it and play with it like a balloon. That makes me, that makes me sick, because this kid's a human being. When Jean Robert was 15, his owner moved to the United States. Unable to hide their slave, they abandoned him. With this freedom and a few helping hands, Jean Robert attended high school, served in the army, graduated college, became a teacher, all impossible for the rest of Ex of Haiti. It was very painful for me to publish a book detailing um, my entire life, uh, all the pains. I mean, I basically opened my heart um, in this book. And, and to let people know this is what's going on. Um, slavery is still happening. Jean Robert is not a freedom hero because he survived. It's because he has not forgotten. Child labor laws are never enforced. I went to the United Nations in Geneva half a dozen times. I shared the story with them. I cannot recall a time when I was not a domestic slave. They shook their head. They said, yes, this shouldn't go on. But again, it's still going on. I had the equivalent of a second or third grade education. And I was 15 years old. I like to share the story with young people, high school students, uh, college students. That's what makes us human, okay? Because we have something called humanity. We have to Maybe one or two of them will stand up and say, you know, I remember the story that was told to me 15 years ago. Maybe I'm in a position, maybe I should do something because I'm in a position to do it. That's what I'm hoping for when I talk to those kids. And as often as possible, Jean Robert returns to Haiti, a difficult emotional trip. But he persists and endures so that the children know there's a way out. He gives them clothing and he shows compassion, often for the first time in their lives. There was this boy uh, whose face had been burnt with hot oil and his hand was crushed with a hot frying pan. And I met this boy in Haiti. Uh, and after the documentary was shown all over the world, a few days later, the boy was killed because he embarrassed the Haitian government. And I feel responsible for that. Like the 300,000 rest of X now in Haiti, Jean Robert's childhood was stolen. So he tirelessly shares all the freedom and love he can with his son Adam and the child slaves of Haiti. But like all freedom heroes, the struggle is hard, the barriers are many, and the progress is slow. 
All I can do is share their story, uh, write their story, knock on doors. And I've been knocking, you know, on hundreds of doors. And I have not found the right one. But I will keep on knocking.